So we're going to talk about what path loss is. So I looked up a definition on Wikipedia and it's this. Path loss is the reduction in power density of an electromagnetic wave as it propagates through space. So, so you've got an antenna here. All right, so transmit antenna. And then you're going to have a, a transmit power. So if you transmit into what's called an isotropic source, that signal is going to be radiated equally in all directions. And somewhere over here, you'll have a receive antenna. And there will be a power that you receive. The power that you transmit will definitely be larger than the power you receive because not all of it's going to get here. Some of it's going that way, some of it's going that way, some of it's going that way. It's going all over the place. So, but some of it's going here, so you know that the power transmitted will be greater than the power received. So again, path loss is the reduction in power density because it will be reduced because the power you get here will be less than the power you get here. Okay, so how does that relate to what... You already know about power received. Well, textbook has a formula for calculating the received power. So there's transmit power and there's gain of the antennas and uh, wavelength and, and that kind of stuff. You look up path loss in Wikipedia and it gives you this formula here. So the question you might have is, how does this relate to this here? So we're going to figure that out. Are you ready? Okay. So if we have, let's see, uh, power received is equal to transmit power times the gain of the transmit antenna, gain of the receive antenna, lambda squared over 16 pi squared r squared, like that. And you want to know, what does that have to do with the other formula, this, this one here, this 20 log, that stuff? That says for isotropic antennas. Well, for isotropic antennas, isotropic... What that means is the linear gain is equal to 1. Unity gain. So this is equal to 1, this is equal to 1. So that means receive for isotropic would be transmit power times the lambda squared 16, which is 4 squared, pi squared, r squared, like that. Now that's power received, but path loss is usually the dB ratio of transmit power to receive power. So if the path, path loss is 10 dB, that means transmit power is 10 dB more than receive power. It means transmit power is 10 times more than receive power. So path loss is dB ratio of PTX or PRX. It's easier to do the other one if we, just bear with me, you'll, you'll see. So if we say PRX over PTX, then I'm just taking this and moving it down there. Lambda squared over 4 squared, pi squared, r squared. There. That means I could rearrange these. I could just, just flip them like that and say transmit over receive. So this is flipped. And then I flip these two. So 4 squared, pi squared, r squared over lambda squared. There. So I have this ratio here and I have this ratio here. But if I want path loss, it would be the dB ratio of this, which is the dB ratio of this. How do I do that? Well, what I would do is 10 log of transmit power over receive power. So I'm 10 logging both sides. 10 log of 4 squared pi squared r squared over lambda squared. All right. But that's really the same as 10 log of 4 pi r over lambda squared. And you know that if you log something and you, that, that is squared, it's the same as saying 2 log of that without the square. So that's really equal to 20 log of 4 pi r over lambda. So that's path loss. So path loss is equal to this. And if we look back up the Wikipedia definition, path loss is 20 log 4 pi d over lambda. What do we have? 20 log of 4 pi r over lambda. So this is referring to the separation of antennas, and so is this. So we've just proven that path loss comes from this original 
power received formula.